Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to Soul Vibin'. We're gonna go ahead and see who is craving you at this moment in time, who wants you, who wants you back, or who simply this can be someone new, okay? New love. See, I see new love popping out here. So some of you may have new love headed around the corner or someone who is interested in you, okay? It can be anybody. So keep your mind open and let's go ahead and get started. Scorpio, who's craving Scorpio? Scorpio. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Scorpio, here we get the Knight of Cups. I get someone here who may, um, wow, look at that. Let's see. Let's see where this is going. Oh, okay, so this is definitely someone from your past who wants to come back and say sorry, okay? <laughs> yeah. They want to come back and say sorry. They've been looking at, looking at you from afar, okay? They're trying to be brave enough to do this. I feel like they kind of know they really messed up, Scorpio, okay? They really know they messed up. They really know. They're starting to see things very clearly now. I think doing that introspection and um, maybe even focusing on other things other than the connection made them realize exactly what they had they feel like uh, your connection is very faded or like you're the one here with the lover's card and judgment coming out here so this is definitely someone from your past who isn't able to let you go okay they're really holding on to what you guys had they're also holding on to um they're holding on to the fact that you know they they, they just can't let you go they really want to make things work with you i feel like i feel like with the lover's card and the judgment here um they've definitely obviously <laughs> had to do some realigning okay or something they had to spend some time by themselves or something or i don't know what they did to mess up or for the connection to fall apart but i definitely feel like this person is holding on to you okay and this can be someone you're already with too so keep that in mind you may already be with this person but they may be they may just be thinking about you and holding on to you take that energy where it resonates definitely feel like you guys can be a couple already or this can be someone coming back around or maybe someone even new who's been through a lot with the knight of cups here and who kind of just wants to express their love for you they may have been holding back for a while from expressing their love to you um but i feel like they've never really let you go they've always kind of just They've never really let you go. That's what I'm getting. It's like they've always looked at you from afar. Or maybe they've always looked at you and saw how beautiful you were. And so you're, the qualities that they see in you are very specific. Okay. They feel like maybe you're the one that's been through a lot. Okay. And they, they see how special you are because, yeah. So someone here has been through like a lot of, are you, maybe it's you and this person. <laughs> But I see someone here who may have been through a lot, okay? They, 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 they feel like they put you through a lot. They put you through a hard time. And they still see how you've come out of it. And I know this sounds like maybe you don't want to hear it, Scorpio. But at the end of the day, this person does feel bad. And this person does feel like, you know, they're starting to see how independent you are. And maybe it took them a while. I can, I can also see this being someone from like your past past like someone who really hurt you okay one of your lovers who really hurt you okay i'm getting gemini energy or aquarius okay cancer pisces scorpio uh strong on the gemini but i definitely feel like they're not letting you go energetically maybe you maybe they came to your mind recently and they came to your mind probably because their energy, their energy is coming off as needy. They're also coming off as like they want to come in contact with you. Okay. They see you. They spy on you. I feel like they spy on you on social media. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they may be calling you or they may be holding back from calling you. But I feel like regardless of what they feel, they're going to do it because they feel like something needs to be put right here. So if this person owes you an apology, I definitely feel like they're talking about it i don't know why i got they are talking about it like if it's more than one person i don't know why but that can be just for some of you with the lover's card here um i feel like someone's aligning or, or making a big decision here okay major decision this decision this person is making is really going to take a lot from them but they're they're learning to learn from their past for one they come up as the knight of cups and the page of swords to me this is telling me that they've been through a huge argument fight or something that has caused a lot of chaos in their life to a point where now they understand things differently and they want to come back and say sorry okay so yeah look at that tower card 
and the temperance. So everything that's happening is for a reason. So if someone comes back around and says sorry, I definitely feel like you can be open to this. Like, accept it, accept the sorry, and move on. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to take this person back. Like, let them say what they got to say and set the boundaries if you feel like you need to and walk away, you know? But I, it, and the best thing about this, Scorpio, is that you're going to get healing from it. You're going to get a lot of healing from it. Sagittarius energy coming through for sure. There you are, Scorpio. You may be Scorpio Sagittarius cusp. Okay. Oh, whatever the case is, though, I definitely feel like they do want to work with you. Or maybe this is someone from your work. Okay. Or maybe this is like a job offer from the past that maybe you wanted to work at. And, you know, you've been manifesting as well. I can see that happening. I can see that being maybe it's someone who let you go or a job that let you go as well. That's the type of energy I'm getting. Okay. Um, I feel like now that they see that you're standing on your own two feet and that maybe you've got something going for yourselves, now they're like wanting you back. They want, you know, the judgment. This to me is like a, somebody wants a new cycle. Okay. Someone doesn't want to let you go or doesn't want to see you flourish the way you want to flourish as well. And it's like, now that you have your energy, right now that you're becoming more independent, this person wants to come in and they want to take some of that. So it's like, yeah, a wish fulfillment. Yeah. So now that they see you're independent, you're satisfied, you're happy, your emotions are in check. It's like now this person wants the best of you when you're the best version of yourself. Like where were you when I was going through, you know, my depression? Where were you when I was going through my hard times and when I needed guidance, you know, when I needed help, when I needed you there? Where were you? That's the kind of energy I'm getting you guys. This can be anybody. This can be a friend, family member. This can be um oh job offer okay yeah it's like now you're on top and now they're like gonna be the beggars they're gonna be the one saying sorry they're gonna be the ones you know hey um here i am like i don't know where but i'm here like they're really thinking about you okay they're really thinking about this. so if somebody came to your mind recently that you haven't thought of in a while i definitely feel like it could be this person Ooh, all right so let's go ahead and pull out more clarifications to see if we get any more. Um... I'm going to pull out Romance Angels first. What's this connection about? Okay. I definitely feel like they have love for you. Okay. Or they were one of your lovers. It can be either or. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This person could have been controlling in the past. If you were with this person before. Uh, besides that, I feel like somebody here wants to control the situation. Like, they want things to go in their favor, but they don't know how to do it for them to go in their favor. Because they don't really know how you're going to react to it to this. They know that it can go either or. They know that either it can be, like, a an energy of, oh, hell no. Like, I ain't going with this. No. Like, you're completely blocking them. Or it can go in their favor, kind of like... Where you're going to be mature about it and emotionally mature or whatever. And you're going to be, you know, responding. But you're not going to be as open. You know what I mean? That's the energy I'm getting. They know that it can go either way. But they don't really care what way it goes. They're still going to, they're still going to reach out. I'm telling you. They're still, they're still going to have that audacity to come back. But let me see. Codependency. Oh, yeah. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person could have had some addictions. Pill addictions. I'm getting pill addictions. And I'm also getting um, alcohol. Okay. This genie. This this is alcohol right here. Um, so they could have had alcohol addiction. And they could have been codependent on that. They could, have, they could be codependent on you. Or they are just a codependent person where they just want to come in and suck the energy out of you. That's the energy I'm getting. Okay, so with retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. They may have isolated you from your family in the past. They may have also isolated you from your loved ones. Or they may have just like wanted to spend a lot of alone time with you or made you disconnect from social media. They made you delete social media as well maybe when they were around. That's the energy I'm getting. Okay. So I don't know what this reading is about. It's a little bit different. I'm getting a totally different energy from it. So I feel like it's just a special message for someone who really needs to hear this. Just to kind of get their ducks in a row, their feelings aligned. Sometimes, you know, we come across readings that guide us in the direction that we need to go in. 
And especially if we go into the reading without any expectations, then we kind of get the best out of it. So let's go ahead and see what the surrender cards have for us. What do you need? What do you need to surrender? Or what does this person need to surrender? Or what were they here to teach you? So here we got surrender to divine timing. I definitely get divine timing is at play in your life. Okay. Maybe this is something that needs balance. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. That can be a special message for somebody, okay? I'm going to get one more for Scorpio. Surrender to the natural beauty of the world. Take, oh, sorry. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty of, and the ecstasy there. Oh, that's so funny because this says ecstasy. So maybe this person was addicted to ecstasy or something. I don't know why I'm getting that, you guys. Um, but I definitely see a lot of pills or a pill addiction, which was really affecting the connection and someone here had to go. But um, this to me is telling me someone needs to spend more time in nature, okay? Like you need to rebalance your energy out in nature, Um Sometimes when you're feeling low, spend some time outside and that's going to help you connect with your higher self. Um, I feel like your spirit guides tell you this or you know this already, okay? And this is kind of just like reiterating to you one more time so you do it. <laughs> that's the vibe I'm getting. So Scorpio, let's go ahead and and then look, surrender to trust. So yeah, somebody here, yeah, let's just leave that there. But let's see what this characteristics um, for this person is. Who's craving Scorpio? Who's this craving Scorpio now, nowadays, now that, you know, Scorpio's gone? Hold on, let me shuffle a little bit more Scorpio. All right, I'll take those. There's three of them, so that's fine. So the first one we get is Dragon, Fire Sign, even though it's a spirit. Feel like someone's disconnected from their spirit or was disconnected from their spirit okay this is a disconnection from spirit uh, absolutely 100 percent. dragon to me is a fire sign even though this is technically spirit but to me is a fire sign um you also get moth okay definitely an energy vampire or someone who's attracted to what you have now or your light or your energy or finances your money all right someone who's interested the nine of cups talks about someone who's in it for interest okay who's in it to come back around because they're interested in something that you have okay and i feel like this can be money energy finances i don't know anything it can be anything and then cobra another fire sign okay snake this is a damn snake you guys i can't i can't um i feel like you know if you know you know if it resonates it resonates like you you'll know who this is but we're gonna look at the shadow aspects of this person what are the shadow aspects of this person but still what's happening you gotta trust 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 what's happening if they do come back around say sorry or whatever that's fine but set the boundaries okay at the end of the day, you're going to get that satisfaction and that closure, okay? That's what you're going to get out of all this. If they do come back around, you're going to get closure because at least this person had the balls or the guts to tell you sorry or to admit to their own faults. So here we get, maybe they won't even do, do it physically. And maybe this is like your confirmation if you've been thinking about it. Like if you've been thinking about this person and you've been kind of feeling like a sense of satisfaction that's your intuition telling you that this person is regretting doing what they did to you so i don't know why this turned into this type of reading but is this me this is really what they're asking themselves like is this me like is this really me like like i don't and i don't know is this me to me this this can also be you i mean i don't think so scorpio but hey at the end of the day we're all we all got our own thing going on you know so whew. Is this me? This is also coming through like they're asking themselves like, did I really do this? Like, wow. Today for tomorrow. I'm definitely getting a sister or I'm getting a um, a mother. Okay, a mother, a sister, someone you were really close to, a best friend. Um, this can also be like younger you, older you, I don't know, something like that. That's weird. I never got that one before, but 
here we get alone in the world this person is feeling lonely or like i said they're very um alone they keep to themselves okay and then we get downcast pride so very prideful okay so if they don't come back around it's because they're very prideful and you can't let that bring you down anyways because at the end of the day this person has their own soul contract you can't worry about them you're doing good you've been doing good your your wishes are coming true you've been doing something that's rebalancing your energy and you're moving forward in a positive direction and you're being divinely guided um things only come up in your energy sometimes just so you acknowledge them and so you really learn to let go or to really test you especially mercury retrograde it just comes in to test you to see if you've actually forgot about this person or if you're actually letting go of this person or hanging on or what else you need to purge during this time, okay? So that is all I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. Check the other signs to get a full picture of who's craving you around this time and who regrets um, doing what they did to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Remember, excuse me, remember to like and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye for now.